The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at that uh, FTSE, of course. Uh, that's one that's in the news because of the Brexit thing. You know, it's still in a downtrend. Doesn't look like it wants to have a whole lot of movement to the upside. If we take a look at the little bit uh, longer time frame, you'll notice here that it is still making much lower highs uh, all the way through last May. So, that's only part of it, but we need to look at that German bund that we talked about um, a couple weeks ago. Actually, it was on the 8th of February when we were making the big pattern up here. And this, if you recall, was a 78% retracement, Gartley sell signal. And uh, we have actually gone sideways for two weeks, folks. I mean, that that's not bearish action. Uh, I don't believe if we take that high out, it's gonna go much higher than that because of that long-term pattern is so powerful but it's certainly not moving down. That's the main thing uh, to really look at. Well, last night, last night, I was working with a group out of uh, Melbourne, Australia, a trading group there that I happened to know. They asked me to make a little presentation, and so I did. And what I thought I would do is to walk through what I was looking at so you get an idea of uh, just some of the things that we were covering. I started the, uh, I, and this is stuff that I usually send out to the folks you know, to let them know, you know, what I'm doing. But if you take a look at this one right here, this is the long-term weekly of the euro. Uh, I've just drawn a few patterns in here. I tried to, starting on the far left in the lower left-hand corner, you notice the 135 pattern we had back in, uh, when the euro was trading at around 87, back in 2000. That's when my grandson was born. And then you notice it made a three drive to a top pattern in 03. Uh, then we completed the ABCD. Uh, then we had the 61% retracement that we just completed here at the uh, 127 level. That was off the high that we made back in 2011. And you'll notice that we were right at the 61% retracement just a couple of days ago at the uh, 112 uh, 20 level that we focused on, you know, quite a bit. But what I tried to do as I was walking through some of these is to show the difference between the shorter term, you know, and the the longer term on these because it gives you a better idea of some time of what is happening. Now these folks were not even exposed to uh, A, B, C, D pattern. They, you know, they had a perfunctory, whatever that word means, <laughs> uh, idea of what Fibonacci really was. And of course, Fibonacci is just a subsection of the um, numbers from sacred geometry that Bryce Gilmore told me about many, many years ago. And of those numbers, of course, we use 61% retracement for retracements and 78% retracement. And for expansions, we use 1.27 and 1.618. These folks had never heard of 78 or 1.27. So that part was interesting to them. But as you notice here uh, on this uh, hourly chart of the euro that I brought up, that it covered the time period between November the 18th, you know, to where we are right now. And uh, we showed the ABCD patterns. And those ABCD patterns were just spot on, folks, the big ones between December 11th and January 4th, the perfect ABCD to the upside. And then from January the 10th to February the 14th, a beautiful ABCD to the downside. And if you look at it closely, there on February 13th in the lower right-hand corner, you'll notice that that also was a three drive to a bottom pattern. Then the market rallied up and you'll notice the first little red uh, harmonic there, that's the 61% retrace it. And if you go to the right, just three more days, you'll see it did the same type of a move and that's leading to where we are right now. It's this 114 area which is going to be a very interesting one because that's going to be the 61% retracement of the high that we made back on January 29th. So those are just a few of the things that, that we covered. We did a little bit of 
little tiny bit of risk control. But folks, you have a special chance today. Uh, Steve Rhodes at 5 o'clock Eastern Times is going to give a seminar, a webinar on uh, risk control. And risk, he, he really knows this stuff, folks. So if you have problems uh, controlling risk and stuff, go to TFNN and listen to the, the webinar tonight at 5 o'clock Eastern Time with Steve Rhodes. He does a great job. And uh, I know you'll be, uh, I know you'll be quite pleased. The, um, I, at least I'm, I'm almost 99.99% sure that you'll be pleased. So that's it. Now, the other one that we looked at since we were uh, talking about the folks in Australia is the Australian dollar. And one of the questions that they had is, how did you ever know that that, that bank robbery that occurred, that occurred back on December the 24th was uh, by the Japanese bank uh, a major bottom? And all we did was we looked at the AB leg from way back you know, on May the 29th. Uh, the C leg occurred. The B leg occurred uh, on October the 11th. Then we rallied up, and the ABCD moved to the downside, went to the exact low, which was at uh, 0.68. And, and now, of course, we're trading at 0.71 quite a bit. And all I was doing was just showing these just simple patterns. You can see the three drive pattern in the middle. And this is a four-hour chart, so you get to see quite a bit of it. And then you see the retracements and things like that. I was just giving him an idea of what some of these things were looking at. I couldn't do all of them, of course, because it was relatively short. But at least we were able to cover some. We were able to do a little bit of a – we had a few trades that we did during the day that, that, was, uh, that was interesting during that uh, hour period that, that I, was, uh, I was doing it. So it was uh, rather fun. And as a matter of fact, let's just look at that. Let's just look at this trade that we were watching. If you'll remember, uh, early in the week, we were looking at this British pound. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of targets up there at 133.30. That was the 1.27 expansion. It is also a double ABCD pattern up in that area. So uh, there should be some resistance up here at this 133.30 level uh, in the British pound. Now, as you can see from last night, You'll, you'll notice that this is where we uh, completed the pattern, and uh, it is now uh, down a little, well, it's trading, you know, within a few pips of uh, a high. But uh, that pattern is now complete, and we should see some type of a correction. And since you have a double ABCD pattern there, the minimum correction you would have would be 150 points. So that's, uh, that's what we're looking at uh, as far as that British pound. It looks quite interesting. Uh, at that level, but whether, you know, like we say, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but that's neither here nor there. That's what you're watching when you're looking at some of these things. Now, I did want to share with you, uh, we, oh, by the way, 10-4, folks, just a second here. I'm going to get into a, uh, get into live cattle in just a minute. Let's just do that right now. I'm going to post the chart for live cattle, but I've got a very, very, very special guest uh, on Friday. John Chevrony, uh, of, who worked for Joe Siegel for 35 years and still works for Siegel Trading in Chicago. They're the number one hog and cattle firm. Uh, he's going to be our guest. Uh, Joe started uh, with Payne Weber. Uh, not Joe, but uh, excuse me. But uh, John started with Payne Weber uh, many, many years ago, way back in the early 70s, with a young man named Richard Anderson out of South Dakota. And uh, Joe's going to be my guest talking about cattle on Friday. Don't miss it. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the live cattle. We're going to be looking at April cattle. Uh, that's the spot month, and so it is being influenced by the cold weather that they've had there. It makes the, the uh, cattle uh, gain weight a lot less, and it makes them more valuable. Let's just look at the technicals on this, folks. Um, we don't, I don't trade live cattle. Uh, very often. I do trade it sometimes, and I will trade it this time, but if you notice the ABCD pattern that started back on November the 12th, the BC swing was a 382 retracement. The AB equal CD leg measures the 1.618 expansion at 131.60. That's up a, a penny and a half from where we are on closing on Friday. Uh, let's try that again on Tuesday, and if you'll notice the secondary ABCD pattern that started on January the 7th, pulling down to the uh, on the third on the first of um, uh, February, it also stopped at the 61% retracement that led to another ABCD uh, expansion, also at a 1.618 number, up at that 131 and change also. So I will be definitely uh, looking at this with a risk of about two cents a pound. That's uh, about 800 and some dollars in cattle, a little more than that, a little about 890, I believe. But uh, the profit potential on this is uh, is substantial because just the 382 retracement from the low that we made down at 118 would take you down to uh, 126. So you're you're risking um, you're risking two points to make six. That's three to one risk reward ratio, which makes it uh, certainly. Uh, very, very um, tempting. And the other thing is if we look at the time frame in the ABCD swings from January, you'll know that you went from January 31st into January the 20, excuse me, December 31st into January uh, 31st, one month, and here we are finishing the month uh, at that same level now in the uh, cattle. So this area, 131.60, looks very, very interesting in the live cattle. Uh, April live cattle, it certainly does. Now, the June is trading substantially below that because it's not going to be affected by the weather. Uh, so this is partly a weather market that we're looking at here. But, boy, all the things are set up just uh, about as nice as you can possibly see for a, uh, you know, move to move to the downside. That's the 
That's the way that uh, it's, it appears to it by looking at these. Now, we have another one here that uh, is very interesting, folks, and that is the, uh, this is the uh, coffee. Uh, I, we looked at this uh, early in the week, and if you'll notice here that we were watching the coffee to come down to around 97. Uh, I had the order in setting at 97.20. It closed about a half a cent, but not quite a half a cent below that looking absolutely horrible and then today uh, the coffee gapped up two cents it's trading uh, almost at 99 now and so what you'd want to do if you did that trade would be to move your stop to break even so that you don't have to risk anything at all You're, you would be in a risk-free situation and that's what you really try to do because we don't know what's going to happen you know with the coffee or anything the fact that it's making this expansion here at this level is the the edge that you're looking at so you don't want that edge to to dissipate and that would happen if it starts going back down again after a rally it's just another failure and you don't want to set through another failure so you get out at break even and then try to look at it i believe steve rhodes will cover some of that stuff that we're talking about right now about risk control uh, on his webinar tonight at five o'clock so i think it'd be a, a really great idea Steve, of course, is the timer of the year for Timer's Digest in, I believe, both stocks and bonds. And that's a, a terrific uh, accolade for the feathers in his cap, and he's got a bunch of them. So we want to keep that uh, watching very, very closely as we walk through these uh, different things that we're, that we're paying attention to. Now, we did get a really interesting chart from our good friend Rich Anderson from one of the firms that uh, he works with. And uh, Rich is uh, so to, supposedly retired, which is a big joke because he's working as many hours as he usually does, but he's doing it all for himself. He still maintains uh, the commodity office with Tom, but uh, he really doesn't go in much anymore. If we take a look here at this chart that uh, they, we got from R.J. O'Brien, that's the firm that uh, one of the firms that Rich goes through. You'll notice that uh, this is the March soybeans on a daily basis. And as you can see here, it is making a, a rounding bottom. Uh, it's uh, you know the, your July low, uh, then your 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 low that you had, uh, you know way back in mid September. And so this is a, a daily chart. But you you see the higher bottoms that we had since September. This is a very positive thing, and the, and the grains have been under pressure, not like the wheat, of course. But you'll notice that this pattern is. Uh, you know, a, a positive pattern. It's still moving to the upside. You can see the higher bottoms all the way through September, and each of those is a Fibonacci retracement. The first comes in uh, at the 61% retracement. That was the one in October. The November one, which is also a Gartley, comes in at the 78% level. The one that occurs uh, in December, here again, right at the 78% level of the November low, and exactly 61% from the October low, and if you make that a 135 pattern, you can see that's what's happened. It goes up, it pulls back one more time, you know, in mid January, and uh, there's another higher bottom, and then we started to move up. And now what we're looking at is a potential breakout here uh, in March beans. Now we're, we're going to be at March beans tomorrow, uh, Friday, excuse me, and uh, believe me, that's not going to be where the, the breakout's going to occur. I, I, that's my two cents worth, and you're overpaying if you pay that, but. The, the one that you want to be watching are the July and the Novembers. July are the old crop beans, and November will be the new crop beans. So we're following that um, uh, quite a bit. So that's another one. Ah, someone's asking a question, how low can wheat go? I believe that $4.99 in the December wheat that we hit last night might just possibly be it. Now, we did get a really interesting, uh, really, really great chart from uh, one of our folks up in uh, Canada. And that is a, uh, it's a wheat corn spread. This is the difference between the price of wheat and the price of corn. This is a very, very important ratio that they look at. And if you bring this up, you'll be able to see that that wheat corn spread has made new lows. As you can see by the dotted lines that I drew in there, that's a beautiful butterfly pattern. And we're getting very, very close to uh, what could be the final bottom. We did that spread actually turned in, uh, to the positive. Uh, after we drew this in. So there's a possibility that that wheat could start, you know, gaining some of its luster back. Believe me, folks, the people are not going to stop eating bread. You know, being an Italian, I can almost guarantee that one because uh, 
it's very interesting that uh, the price of wheat, you know, is down so very much, but it's still still going to have some buyers, I'm sure of that. So we'll keep that in mind. We've got to pay a few bills here in just a moment, and when we get back, we're going to be talking about the Bitcoin because it's getting ready to have another leg up, in my opinion. We'll take a look at that as we get ready to do the second session of today's show, and then we'll move on you know, to some of the other things that we want to be watching, specifically the stock market and also the gold market and the platinum market. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and we want to take a quick look here at the Bitcoin. We've had some folks here that have an interest in it, and we want to make sure that they're as happy as all the wheat and corn and all the other folks. We'll take a look here. Uh, you'll notice here on the Bitcoin that uh, we did make that beautiful Gartley down there at uh, the 3350 level, and from that level, you're going to be able to see uh, how well it. Uh, it is going to look, but uh, that is a 20-man line. That's basically where those lines connect and it come down and retouches. That acts as a fulcrum many times, 
but any move below 3,700 would certainly negate this because it's been here for three days now. So it's either going to be great support right here or it is going to fail and fail badly. So keep that in mind that these patterns fail a lot. We already know that. So you got to be able to protect, you know, pretend that you know what the heck you're doing. And that's an important factor here you know, to look at it. Let's take a quick look at the gold market. We've been talking about this for several days. We're now trading at around three, uh, 1325. What we'd like to see is uh, if we could get it down to the uh, around 1292 level, that will be extremely important because that's a 78% level from the low in the middle of January. But even more important than that, it is the low, the, uh, the 382 retracement of the low that we made back in November of last year, and that's a, a really key key one to be watching. So uh, pay very, very close attention to that. That's something that I think would be, uh, you know, be very, very interesting to look at. There's a big difference between the gold and the platinum. Platinum's up 10 days in a row. We're trading up at the 876 level. We've gone through the uh, 1.618 expansion that was there at 874. So that tells us that the platinum still wants to go higher, even though it's 10 days in a row, it still wants to move higher. And I certainly wouldn't recommend anybody standing in front of that anymore because it certainly has given every indication that it does want to, uh, does want to move uh, to the uh, higher ground. Uh, the crude oil, the crude oil looks very interesting, folks, because if we take a look at the hourly crude oil, and we're going to do that right now, is if we look at this hourly crude, you're going to be seeing, you know, the fact that we're setting right at the 61% uh, retracement of this move, and that could be a very interesting uh, resistance up there at the uh, 5680 level. The last is 5662, and uh, we'll be able to see if that's going to be, uh, you know, if that's going to be anything that's going to be any worth anything as far as a uh, resistance right now all you have is a couple small a b c d patterns in there to verify that there should be some resistance there at the fib number of 8675 but whether it's going to be longer term or not you know one does not know that that's uh that's for sure no question about that that'll be a, a really be a very very interesting one here to uh, pay close attention to but I think that gold, if it gets down to that 1292 level, folks, boy, that's going to be really an interesting one because of all of the patterns that are there, you know, that are lining up, uh, you know, so nicely. So we'll see if it's going to happen or not, but we'll just uh, wait and see. I'll just give you an idea on this platinum here. We were watching this the other day, and I wanted to bring this up to your attention here because uh, the platinum, the 1.618 expansion on this came in at 870. We've now gone five to six dollars, seven dollars above it, 877. That means it's most probably going to be heading up uh, to way above the uh, 880 level. And the reason why is if you look at this closely in the platinum, a much more bullish chart than gold and silver, but you'll see the low that we made on August the 15th. We had the rally up into November, that's the AB leg. The C leg came down to the uh, in December of this year at the 780 level. And if you measure the ABCD level, you're going to get just a tad above the 910 level. And uh, that's, uh, you know, another $50. And we're already up 10 days in a row. In other words, we've made, we've made higher highs 10 days in a row. That in itself is an outlier event. That usually means that you're, you know, you could be looking at it. But you're, you're right, Duffy, the palladium is, uh, I believe it's above 1,500 now in palladium. I don't even know what palladium is used for, but uh, it's uh, probably one of these electronic deals, but uh, that's also going nuts. So maybe it's going to pull gold and silver and everything else up with it. But those are the ones that are, that are really moving right now. And platinum has been lagging for a very long time. We made that beautiful ABCD to the downside in the platinum down there at that 870, excuse me, 782 level, and now we're trading, you know, 70 bucks above that. So, uh, palladium, uh, Duffy's telling us, is used in uh, catalytic converters. I guess that where they convert the dogs to cats is that what that means? I don't even know what that transgender stuff is. Let's take a quick look here at the old S&P 500. Want to get up here to give you a rough idea of what we're looking at here. 
Uh, you'll notice that the big ABCD pattern started back on uh, February the 9th. The BC leg came in on the 15th of February. That was a 3A2 retracement. The ABCD on that measured to uh, 28.14. The high was 28.14.50. We're now trading around 27.89 in that ballpark, I believe, with a lot of strong support there uh, because of the 61% retracement. Uh, anything below that sets up those levels much, much lower, which is at 27.50. That's the 1.27 expansion, the 50% retracement. But the one that would look the most interesting would be down uh, about 50 handles, down around 27.34. Uh, you would be looking at a 61% retracement and a 1.618 expansion. Uh, that would be a very, very powerful uh, number for sure. And you would be down $80 from your uh, high, which is two times the harmonic number. So it would be uh, pretty much spot on at that level if we get to it. But the key level from the beginning of this is uh, to watch this level of 27.75. We break below that, that's telling us that it's getting ready to go a lot lower. That, that's what it looks like uh, as we watch these things unfold like this. Now, whether it's going to continue that way or not, you know, we have to, uh, we have to wait and see. But it's, you know, one step at a time with these, and that's what we're that's what we're looking at. Let's just double check. We've got a little bit of a, uh, a rally going. We're up around 2790 now uh, in the, uh, the mini S&P. So we'll see if that's going to mean very much or not. But we'll do you know one thing at a time as we look at some of these, as always. And also the euro. Uh, the euro, I, I believe we were we were doing that uh, we were doing that uh, quite easily at the uh, 120. Uh, excuse me, at 130. 140.10 was the 114.10 was the 61% retracement on the euro. We got very very close to it last night, I believe. We got to 114.03. Whether that's enough or not, you know, we'll just have to uh, we'll just have to wait and see if that's going uh, if that's going to be the case. So those are just a few of the things that we're we're paying attention to uh, this morning. But it's still a bit early, and we'll know soon enough. Uh, when we look at some of these things uh, in the future here, especially tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. But don't forget Friday, folks. We're going to have John Cheverny. Uh, he was one of the original guys on the Squawk, Squawk Box at Payne Weber when Rich was just a kid, 22 years old. I was a guest on that Squawk Box several times uh, just because I knew something about uh, uh, Fibonacci, and I'm talking about just a very small uh, something is all I knew, 618, so we'll see. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying Diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, someone's asked me a question about the, uh, the FANG stocks, and gosh, they're really lagging the market badly. I mean, my goodness, I mean, just look at any of them. Uh, Apple, Facebook, Google, uh, I mean, Amazon, Netflix, I mean, they're all lagging the market very, very badly. So these were the ones that took us to the dance. Whether they're going to continue to be that way, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, they've certainly lost momentum, that's for sure. It's no longer a fang market. It's uh, the broad market, and that's what we're looking at. Uh, someone's asked a question about General Electric. The fact that it's had this really strong uh, movement here uh, to the upside, and a lot of that, of course, is related to the, the uh, selling of one of their uh, subdivisions, and that's always an interesting thing uh, to see happen because that means they're going to lose the earnings from that. So that's the key thing to uh, to pay attention about. Now, David uh, White has posted some really nice pictures of the things that are going on in the market today. Looks like Weight Watchers is down about 36%, and a couple of these other companies, I don't even know what they are, but um, and Tandem Diabetes is up 29%, so there's a little bit for everybody, no matter what we're watching here today. Now, I wanted to mention the silver because uh, we, we have not uh, taken out that double top high that we've had in silver uh, last week. Uh, we got as high as, I believe, 16 and change earlier in the week when the gold had a little bit of a rally and now it's selling off. It's only the platinum and palladium that are running today and the, you know, gold is not doing much. The gold still has a chance, folks, at that 1292. That's only 30 some dollars away. And as you know, uh, that uh, gold market could make it very, very easily if it starts to the downside because it is still very, very overbought. No, there's no question about that. So those are just a few of the things uh, that we're watching. Another one that we've been paying very close attention to, of course, is the live hog market. And I just wanted to bring that up to you to take a look at this uh, of your June hogs because we did have a pretty good bottom off of the 78% level. And then the market came all the way back. It dropped uh, three, went up five cents, came back three cents. So it's still holding above the 7320 level. And now we're hearing reports from the fundamentalists about maybe the thing with the Chinese uh, uh, disease is not nearly as bad as they originally thought. Well, we don't know the answer to that, but that's the cannon fodder that's going out to tell us the news if that is in fact the case. But, you know, allow your charts to tell you whether the news is correct or not, because there's no lying that goes on in the charts. It's the sum total of all the buyers and sellers. And uh, that's what you'd be watching. So pay very, very close attention to it. And I think you would be, uh, you know, a whole lot better off, uh, you know, by looking at that than uh, just trying to figure out what these fundamentals are, because those are the ones that are most difficult, you know, to, uh, to understand is, uh, you know, because there's so much stuff involved with fundamentals. You got to count every every pig and what they're eating and, you know, all that other stuff. But who knows? I'm just looking at the... I'm just a chartist, folks. I just look at the charts and try to get an idea or two whether this is going to be interesting or not. Uh, someone's asking a question about the coffee. 
Uh, folks, all I was looking at in the coffee, and we talked about this uh, earlier in the week, of course, uh, and then I want to, let me do the coffee first, and then I want to get to the Christmas weed here because it's pretty much the same thing as the coffee. It looks like, you know, it's death's door, but we'll look at it here. Here you'll see uh, the coffee is completed. The big ABCD pattern from last May, if you measure the uh, the ABCD leg and everything, it comes in in a few days, that will be equal, but your price is exactly at the 1.618 expansion of the whole range of December and it's also, you know, the uh, 1.618 on the bigger term picture going way back uh, into May of last year. So you don't have to risk very much at this time. However, with the market gapping up like it did today in your favor, you want to put your stop at the break-even point and let it rip because now you don't have to worry about it. And don't even look at it. Don't even, don't even bother to see what's happening with the cattle or the coffee or anything. Just, you know, Forget it. Put your stop at break even, and if they get you, they're going to let you know that you're out, and then you look at it again. You know that way you don't have to worry about it going any lower. And believe me, this has been in a really strong downtrend, folks. Since uh, this has been down almost the whole month of February, and we've only got one more day here to uh, complete the month, so it's going to be uh, a very interesting sign here as we look at some of these. So pay pay close attention to that one. It's going to be a real interesting one. Another one that the folks have talked about here that has a really good potential for what I think is a potential, you know, double bottom, and we've already seen it already, and that is in the, uh, one second, let me get the chart up, it's the cotton, cotton the fluff. You'll see that it's made a double bottom from December to where we were in late January, and we've had a pretty good rally backed off a little bit, but it's still you know, holding its own. So all of those, we're starting to see some of it. I'm going to do the, let me do the Christmas, uh, Christmas wheat here because I really like this one. This one, this one has no friends at all, but uh, it does have something that we like, and that is the uh, 1.618 expansion. You notice I marked it uh, twice, uh, both in red. That came in at uh, 4 uh, 99. The low was 4.97 and a half. We're now trading at roughly 504. So uh, here again, that's one of the ones that I would say, okay, I'm just going to put my stop at the break-even point and see how it all hangs out because uh, that's all you really know. I mean, this market is extremely oversold. As you can see, we've gone from 630 a bushel down to five dollars a bushel. That's a $6,500 move, folks, in uh, wheat, and that's not an easy task. And some farmers back in South Dakota, North Dakota. And other parts of that upper northwest are hurting very badly because of the price of wheat being so uh, so very, very low. And, and as a matter of fact, many of these folks are, you know, living in hotels because it's so bad, the weather, that they're literally, the cars can't uh, keep running uh, because it just takes too much gasoline. And so they've got to stay in a hotel that will give them some shelter. And that's the way it is. I mean, that's how bad that market has been. Remember the natural gas. We talked about that, you know, for a potential bottom. And uh, this natural gas has just gone absolutely ballistic. I think we're up well over $4,000. Let's get this one up to take a look at it because uh, you'll notice here we're trading above the 290 level now uh, in natural gas. We were just trading at uh, 250 just a few days ago. So it's rallied quite a bit. And just a 382 retracement on natural gas would take you all the way up you know, to that $3,500 level. That's uh, what it would be watching. So we'll be uh, watching that very, very closely because it's a, it's got a potential for a huge move, as does coffee. You know, I, and it's just a potential here right now. You don't know whether it's going to be good or not. That's the, that's the $64 question, and that's all you really can do. So not to worry too much about it. That's the way it looks just pays your money and takes your choice. Watch that British pound, folks. We're sitting right up here at this 133.30 level. That's the ABCD 1.27 expansion. Any move above uh, 134, uh, you know, you would certainly think that that would be wrong, and you, didn't, you do not want to see that happen, even though uh, it could happen very easily because that's just a shorter-term time frame. But there should be some very strong resistance in the cattle here at this uh, 133 uh, 30 level, which is the double ABCD pattern and the 1.27 expansion of uh, what we're looking at here. So let's kind of pay a close attention to that if we can. 
So this is it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. We both know you've got what it takes to crush your goals with the will to make it happen. So why haven't you accomplished it yet? For most, the answer is fear. Fear is that limiting factor that stops us from getting what we truly want, but it doesn't have to. That's why on Wednesday, February 27th from 5 to 6 p.m., I'll be hosting my one-hour workshop, Overcoming Fear in Five Easy Steps. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, the 2018 Market Timer of the Year, author of Mastering Probability, and an expert in human emotion. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain free access to this extraordinary workshop where I'll coach you how to bust through your barriers of fear. How you respond to fear is what sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. Look, this could be the most valuable hour we ever spend together. So come to the homepage of TFNN.com and begin your 30-day risk-free trial of Mastering Probability and take the next step towards the life you deserve. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to take a look at the Treasury bond market. Uh, you'll notice here the cycle bottoms that we've had there uh, that came in around that 145 level just absolutely perfectly. Perfect retracement showing the harmony that's there. We had a strong rally. You'll notice the importance of the 61% retracement on these Treasury bonds, folks, at the uh, 146 to 146.30 to 147 level. We've hit it three times. We could even do it again. We did pull back a little bit. We're moving back up above that level again. But we've not taken that out. If we can take that out above 147.05, that means you've got a, a shot at another point and a half higher if it's going to make the a, B, C, D pattern. But right now, this is still a very bearish chart pattern. Longer term, uh, you know, this is something that you really need to look at. This is only a four-hour chart. And if you look at the daily or the weekly, you can see the bearishness that is there uh, in the Treasury bonds. Even though we've had a pretty good rally over the past eight or nine months, uh, the overall pattern is extremely bearish with lower highs and uh, in lower lows. That's a you know basic definition of a downtrend. So keep that in mind. It'll be very some very interesting to see if it's going to uh, continue in that direction. But that 147.06 in the Treasury bonds is something that uh, 
should make uh, for some interesting thing. We're trading at just below 146 right now, so we're a, a full handle away from that level. So sort of keep an eye on that. That's an interesting one, you know, to uh, watch. Remember, uh, we just missed that Euro 61% uh, retracement at that 114.10. We only got as high as 114.03. We're now trading just a few pips, 20 pips under it. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on. Now, one of the things you're talking about, of course, in the financial news is the fact that the president's ex-attorney is talking today and that could affect stock prices. It could, it could affect it in either direction, folks. So get ready to rock and roll. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!